What's going on, guys? Well, we've got our fighting secrets. You might be asking yourself right now, Well, what are you doing sitting in a fancy boardroom? And who are these people? Well, the truth is, I don't know. Get them out of here. All right, I actually prefer this boardroom much more anyway. Now that we've got those freaking losers out of here, we can sit down with a table full of winners and discuss how we're going to crush it this year, absolutely decimate the competition. Who's the competition? Well, competition could be yourself. It could literally be other people. But in any case, we're going to go over the exact process that C-suite executives use to keep their corporation spitting out billions of freaking dollars every year and keep their employees operating at peak performance. You want to operate at peak performance? Just a simple question. If you don't, turn this shit off right now and go back to scrolling on your stupid phone. But if you actually want to sit there and hit some freaking mile markers this year, take your phone, put it down, and let's talk about this. How do corporations map it out, battle map it out, and keep their people operating at peak performance. Well, there's an exact process. All right, check this out. It's pretty cool, and we're going to actually use it for our own martial success this year. There's four fiscal quarters in a year, right? Four fiscal quarters in a year. Each one of those fiscal quarters has three months. If you're German, it's got three months, right? At the end of each fiscal quarter, that is, at the end of each three-month period, we're going to have an earnings call, all right? We're going to be very brutally honest on how we did in our performance at the end of that three months. You know, for me, for me personally, the process looks something like this. Q1, I want to do this training. Let's just say CQB. I want to do a one, you know, Weekend course of CQB. I want to hit my CQB, all right? I also want to improve my grappling. So by the end of Q1, I'm going to go back and I'm going to say, did I actually hit these goals? Did I actually go for a weekend course in CQB and do my refresher? And did I actually work on my grappling? Did I? And if I didn't, I should be fucking hard on myself and tell myself that I'm a fucking bitch for not doing that. All right. Like you got to be brutal with it. You got to actually do it. You can't just sit down, write it down and be like, oh, that's nice. And then go about like living your life and playing Xbox all the freaking time. Like, don't do that. There's so many people out there who they like have these lofty freaking New Year's resolutions. And they're like, I'm going to lose 50 pounds this year, starting New Year's Day. I'm going to like stop eating unhealthy and like start a diet, like go to the gym. Like, no, like, yeah, maybe they do it for like a couple of weeks, right? Maybe even like a month, they make it. And then they go right back to their bullshit, whatever they were doing before that didn't work for them. Because they don't have it game planned out. They don't actually have a physical process to sit down with and to review how their progress is going. They have no mile markers. And if you have no mile markers, how the Frick, do you know where you are, right? It's really important. It's really, really important to be able to know where you are. All my land nav guys out there know that waypoints and all of that, very important, all right? So let's actually game plan this. Let's battle map this out. So we got Q1. My personal goal, I want to do a weekend refresher of CQB, and I want to really improve my grappling. How am I going to do that? Well, I'm going to have three different ways that I actually do that, right? So... Improve grappling. What I do is I actually grab a physical pen, a physical piece of paper, and I literally write it down, right? For those of you Gen Z people out there, whatever, computer nerds, yeah, all right, fine. Open your notes, open your word, whatever, whatever your documentation process of choice is. But I like writing it down. That way I can carry that physical piece of paper on me. I can physically open it up and look at it and say, damn it, I'm not hitting my goals. I need to perform better, all right? But that's me. If you instead prefer to put it on your notes and then open your notes and say, damn it, I need to perform better. Like, that's fine too. But I like to write it down, all right? So here it is. Improve grappling, Q1, and then weekend CQB course. I'm going to have three different ways that I can improve my grappling. 
No, number one. Okay, way number one that I'm going to do it. I'm going to do nothing but grappling. I'm going to do nothing but grappling for all of Q1. All of that three months, I'm not going to do boxing. I'm not going to do Muay Thai. I'm not going to sit there and do all this patty cake shit on the pads. I'm going to only grapple. All right? That's number one. That's the number one way that I'm going to do this. Number two, how do I'm going to do that? I'm going to grapple five days a week. Okay? I'm going to grapple five days a week. That's method number two to accomplish this goal. Number three, how am I going to do that? I'm going to do two days a week of the gi. I'm going to do two days a week of no gi. And I'm going to do one day a week of wrestling, actual wrestling. For three months, nothing but that. That's the only thing that I'm doing as far as combat goes, or as far as combat training, besides my two, you know, my weekend CQB refresher course. And then it's up to me to find the weekend CQB refresher course Go to it, get it done, and then to actually do what I'm writing out right here, right now. And I can measure my progress very well. I can say, well, did I go ahead and do nothing but grab? Okay, yes. At the end, right? At the end of Q1, I could sit there with a freaking earnings call with myself and say, well, did you actually do nothing but grab? Yes. Okay, I hit that goal. Did you do two week, two days a week of no gi? Two days a week of gi? And one day a week of wrestling? Every week, did you do that? Every week that you physically could, that you were at the gym? Yeah, 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 I did that. Okay, cool, cool. All right? And then the other one was, I didn't write it down. Shit, I didn't write it down, so I forgot it. That That's the point exactly. That's the point exactly, all right? We got to write it down. And did I hit that other goal, right? Did I do only grappling? Whatever, whatever. Damn it. So that's the point, right? We write this down so that we don't forget it. We can look at it and say, did I do A, B, and C for Q1? Yeah, yeah, I did that. All right, cool, cool. So is my grappling better at the end of this three-month period? Well, it damn well should be. If it's not, well, <laughs> if it's really, if it's not better, and that can be a hard, that grappling can be a hard thing to judge, but legitimately it should be better. All right. You should be way better than if you didn't do that. All right. So for Q2, all right, what's my goal for Q2? Well, I'm going to do my last semester of One Shepherd. I've got one semester left before I can apply to become an instructor and small unit tactics with One Shepherd. So that's my big goal, right? One Shepherd. All right. Now, what's my smaller goal? Well, let's just say my smaller goal is to get my hands really fast. Right. I want to get good at boxing. So am I going to do only boxing? Honestly, probably not. But what am I going to do is cut down a little bit on the grappling and do more boxing. All right. So I'm going to do two days a week of boxing or three days a week of boxing and two days a week of grappling. You get the point. And then I write it down. Well, how am I going to do this? Well, first things first, um, I need to actually find a boxing gym. So I'm going to sign up at a boxing gym. All right. I write that down. Then number two, three days a week. Boxing, only boxing, right? Three days a week, boxing. And then number three, well, I'm going to need cardio for this, right? I need a little extra cardio. So I'm going to go for a two to three mile run, two days a week, all right? Now write that down. Two, two mile run, two, three days a week. All right, so then I've got it. I'm going to do one semester at One Shepherd, do my last semester at One Shepherd. Then I'm actually going to go ahead and I'm going to sign up at a damn boxing gym. I'm actually going to go. I'm going to go three days a week. I'm going to make myself do it no matter what. Then I'm going to improve my cardio with a little running on the side. The end of Q2, I'm going to sit down. I'm going to say, did I actually do this? Right. Well, if the answer is yes, then my boxing should have rapidly improved in three-month period of time. Right. And so you get the point. And this is how we're going to do it. We're literally going to sit down there. We're going to write a large goal for ourselves. What type of training do we want to go do? And for for someone out there, that could be whatever, right? That could be, I'm going to go to a Krav seminar or whatever, right? You figure it out. But one you know, one larger goal and then one smaller goal. We write those out. How are we going to accomplish those smaller goals? Three different ways. At the end of each quarter, we're going to have an honest earnings call with ourselves. An honest earnings freaking call for once an honest review. And if we're not hitting our goals, it's because most likely we haven't done A, B, and C that we've written down. It's really unlikely that if we actually write these goals down, 
we hit A, B, and C consistently, it's very unlikely that we will see little to no improvement. It's very, very, very unlikely. Now, the amount of improvement, does it depend on the amount of energy that you put in each and every time that you're in the gym or each and every time that you're training? Yeah, of course. Does it depend on the level of homeostasis? Don't get excited. I said homeostasis. The level of homeostasis that we're in when we train? Yeah, there's there's factors, right? But the important part to realize here is it's highly, highly unlikely that if we actually stick to the process each quarter, that we're not going to improve at all. And it's way more likely that we're going to really, really improve if we stick to this process each year. And if we stick to this process each month, guys, you're going to be somebody different at the end of 2024. And I guarantee it. And you're going to be a lot more dangerous. And you're going to need to be because 2024 is going to be freaking crazy. I hope you're ready. And I hope you're ready to actually get this done. Let's sit there. Let's write it down. Let's get it done. All right. Let's not wait for the new year. Let's start now. All right. Let's literally start now. After you get that done, after you get that written out, start taking the steps and go for it. I want you to fucking be honest with yourself because ain't nobody caring about you except you. And that's the that's the simple truth about it. I don't give a shit. I really don't. I mean, I do. Like when you tell me when you sit there with me at the end of the year, next year, and you're like, dude, bro, like I actually wrote, took your advice. I wrote this down. I'm like way ahead of where I thought I would be. I'm going to be so stoked on you, right? But like, if you don't do this, I could be surprised, frankly. And I don't really care. All I care about is me. You know, I care about my students immensely. And I would, I would go way out of my way for any of you guys to help actually help you out if I thought that it would make a difference. Uh, but when it comes down to it, nobody cares about you except you. So let's write these goals down and let's actually perform and let's operate at peak freaking performance this year. All right, gentlemen, I'll catch you on the next video. Let's get it done. Cheers, brother. Flowers.